everyone and thank you for joining me. This is your uh, love forecast for the year 2018 for the sign of Gemini. So this reading is for you if you are sun, moon, or rising Gemini. I'm reading with the Angle Tarot, E-N-G-E-L. It's a German out of print deck and it's beautiful. You can see that it's all, um, it's all like printed on special cards. It's an out of print deck, but it's all about angels and I love it. And I just thought for a higher arcana reading, couldn't pick a better deck than this one. So let's take a look at how your year is going to evolve in terms of love. Also, if you want more readings for 2018, I did a series of readings on my YouTube channel, which is linked through the playlist in the about section. Also in the playlist, you will see my links to Vimeo. And on Vimeo, I did a very special horoscope spread. Um, this means that I made 12 videos, one for each house of the zodiac. So, you know, your love life, your career, your spiritual center, yourself, your money issues, uh, romantic partnerships, etc., children. So, each area of your life, I actually did a separate little reading for that you guys can rent and watch on Vimeo. So, check that out in the about section. Okay, in the meantime, let's begin your reading. This is the heart shape spread, it's my design and I did it for you guys last year and this is probably the most requested spread that I have so I'm very happy to do that for 2018 for you guys this reading got really long so uh, yeah but I'm gonna just pull through it for the second part I hope you guys don't mind the January portion of the reading got really long so this part is just much longer but I hope you guys are just getting spoiled Gemini that's okay I think I said that before that I haven't been spoiling you guys enough and you know I have a lot of very special Gemini people in my life and yeah it's time to spoil the gems okay first card out we have the tower there's your spoiler so um so yeah so I feel like in the January reading there was a disappointment I felt from the reading that it was more to do with friendship than romance this is definitely a romantic uh, reading so the tower represents a destruction that's happened in your life um, this is the shared energy between you and your partner so if you don't have a partner you do kind of have a partner you just haven't met them yet wherever they are this is what they are going through in relation to you and your relationship the tower is like a, a, a clear-cut catharsis a total change and transformation overhaul last year for the Virgo 2017 reading I'm a Virgo I got this as the center card and let me tell you not too many bad things happened in terms of my love relationship or there wasn't like total destruction mayhem no one died you know just so you know everything was pretty much okay and yeah there was different things that came through in the year but in terms of the energies relating to the tower it was really not what a lot of people are what I would assume tower means. In fact, the tower represents love at first sight. So for some of you, this could be like an instant connection where you find that person right at the beginning of the year. So it can be quite positive. Just it's kind of like a light switch, the tower. Imagine light on, light off. So from pitch black to light and from light to pitch black. So you can have just a very fast change in your love life between you and your partner. The next two cards represent your highest ideals for your relationship. That's, excuse me, this is what's going on for you in your life. So your first card is, so this is the lover's card. So you're looking for a family commitment. You're looking for a really deep connection. You're looking for like real um, kind of uh, a deep, um, a deep resonance within someone else with someone else so you're looking to find like that perfect teammate someone who is on the same page as you someone who wants the same things as you someone who gives you full understanding you're looking for love and passion you really want that true unique true love you want that to come through and you don't want it just from anyone you want it from the right person your next card is the fool you're looking to embark in a new direction this came true really true 
this came forward really true in your 2018 January reading. There was this kind of like leaving the past in the past so much so that you didn't even care so much about what you were leaving behind in terms of friends, but in terms of other things, I suppose as well. I feel like you're turning over a new leaf and you're really interested in going a different direction. The past is no longer suitable for you. You're no longer willing to take it on. Here is your next message. We have the the um, the moon. I always think the mond, M O N D. I always think of that as the the world, but no, it's the, it's the moon. This is what your partner is looking for. This is what they're going through. Now, this is a little bit worrisome um, for the most part because your partner seems to have doubt about either your relationship or about the state of relationships in general. It's like he or she does not really believe that it's possible or there could be clouded uh, visions. There could be a certain degree of nightmares or worrisome thoughts about the prospect of of your relationship with with them. Remember, this is either your current partner, or if you don't have a partner, this is your twin flame soulmate slash true love, de depending on who, however you conceive of it. Everybody has their own way of kind of conceiving it. So just kind of think of the ideal person, the next person in line, the next person that, or the person that you're meant to be with. This is what they're going through. So the, the world always tells me that there's a certain degree of questioning. There's a certain degree of doubt in the situation. And so I feel like with this shakeup, whatever the shakeup is, is going to lead you to make certain changes in a more impassioned quest to seek love or to seek that balance of the lovers and then secondarily your your partner is going to get confused they're going to start getting within their feelings they're going to start thinking about what everything means they're going to have to go through this kind of you know um kind of like a, a spirit journey, a spirit quest and get connected to their shadow. The next message is, so we have temperance. So I think that both cards together, wow, this is the card of Sagittarius. Um, this is the card of Pisces, by the way. This is Gemini. This is your card. And this is not associated with a uh, zodiac sign. But yeah, we have, um, but I think it's Uranian. Um, the, the fool but we have um, we have the uh, the temperance card connected with the world and I feel as though there's this kind of balance of energy coming forward uh, balancing of energy kind of a uh, uh, melding together of different viewpoints I think your partner your prospective partner is really questioning where you where they stand with things in general I think that this is a time of great creation for them they're really focused about where to take their life how to how to progress what is life they're having these kinds of existential questions possibly about who they are what life is where they are in the universe these kinds of circumstances are really coming into their life unfortunately for some of you this tower will represent that your partner has suffered a significant loss and now it looks as though they may be mourning or going through the stages of grief and 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 loss and and those stages are being internalized and so they are working through them to find their identity again you know like if they suffered a loss of a job a significant job or if they you know suffered the loss of a pet like a dog that's been with them for 17 years they may have to go through this kind of kind of um catharsis or, or process to re-identify who they are in the world and who they are in relation to you or what they're looking for because if you don't know them if you guys are single still then um then you know there's that's what they're working through that's what they're working their way through so here is your next cards the new t two next cards is they're more practical this is kind of the ideals the thoughts uh, kind of uh, the ambition whereas the two next cards are like what's actually happening next so first we had the tower then we have these cards this is what you're going to do after the tower. You're going to get the Empress. So many of you are going to connect with your mother. You're going to really kind of go back to your mother's advice. If your mother has passed, um, I'm really sorry for your loss. But if you, And this is not a prediction for, for this year. 
I don't predict death. I don't think that that's the the right way to go about things. I don't think that's how cards work. But um, you're going to turn to your mother. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying not to trigger people who have lost uh, a parent. So so if you've lost your parent, then you're going back to the lessons of that parent, whether you lost them 10 years ago, 20 years ago, five years ago. Um, you're going back to that matriarchy because you did learn it. Even if you knew your parents for like a very short time, there you're going back to it. You're going back to the lessons of the mother. If you've never had that, let's say that you had two fathers or let's say that you had, you know, an alternative grow up and you don't feel like maybe you had issues with your mother, then think about what you've constructed, what you've created that matriarchy in your life to represent and you're definitely able to and capable to build your own f female you can be your own mother essentially we'll do some videos on this to clarify i don't want to, i'm getting too deep into this for some reason i think that i'm getting like a really strong read for you guys so first your january reading was really long and now this one's getting kind of intense so um so yeah so i'm not trying to like I'm not I'm going to take a step back and not go into this any deeper suffice it to say that you're really aligning yourself with feminine energy and either you're taking on the lessons that your mother has taught you or the constructs that you've created for yourself if you're a man watching this this also applies to you you're also capable to tap into yin or female energy as well so that feminine creative energy is all around you that's the next step step I think that you take a look at everything Thing, and you ask yourself what do I want to make of this where do I want to go now hmm? okay so here is your next card and this is this is the stage of your partner they get the hermit which is ruled by Virgo so yeah I think that they're going to need to peace out they're going to need to peace out for a minute I'm not saying for a long time but they're going to need to go through whatever they have to go through and figure their their head out. They have to figure out who they are, what they're about, where things are going and how things are progressing from them. So they're doing that, you know, the journeying, the, the personal trip to figure out like what's what. I do feel like it's their life that has gone through some huge shift and they're left to be like, wow, this is this is this is my journey I need to find a way through so as a bystander to this then you need to support them obviously but if you don't know them this is why they're not showing up yet you know this is why they're busy this is why they're preoccupied the next two cards for each side uh, represent advice so you just take my advice or leave it whatever that I'm just trying to be helpful and then <laughs> and then your partner um, I would say uh, if you know them, you can give their advice to them. You can help them watch the videos. You can cross watch for your partners. So this could be actually you in the relationship. Um, if you're if you're a gem, how does that work? If your partner is a Gemini, then you can watch this and then and then get advice for your for your uh, relationship because you would be the partner in that case. Um, or if you don't know the person, then you understand what the advice is for them. So they this is what they should be doing given the circumstances. But let's start with you first. So first we have the star. See. That feel as though you're stepping into the perfect time and space. The star is ruled by the sign of Aquarius, but this really says that you're not lost. You're not. You're. You know where you're going. Whatever was finalized was finalized. You know, finished, done. Move forward. Move along. Keep it moving. You just have to keep moving, keep moving along, and allow that transformation to happen for you. The next message is the magician so I feel as though magician is that mercury I was talking about this in the January video sorry so let me reiterate but mercury is the ruler of the third house and the third house is the house that that Gemini rules and Gemini rules um, the third house and mercury is your ruler um, and ruler and so mercury is associated with the magician so um, that all that energy, I know that gets really technical, but all that energy is manifested through logos, which is L-O-G-O-S, which is Latin for the word. And so essentially in magic, all 
all creation or all manifestation happens through the word, right? Logos. And so the magician is the architect of the word, the person who uses the word to bring about change in their manifest reality. And so you here as the magician have great power to create out of the universe that you have anything you want. But you still have to be humble to the laws of the universe. And like, of course, you're not bigger than nature. You're just a Gemini. <laughs> just like all of us, you, you have your own limitations. Although you're very powerful this year. And in fact, powerful in terms of creating the way of the direction that you're meant to go in your life. And this, this is about bringing in soulmates. This is about bringing in the ideal person. This is about bringing miracles to that person who really needs one. So this is your true love your soulmate maybe you are meant to expel a certain type of word or energy out into the universe maybe it's a word of forgiveness maybe your time with your partner is now finished maybe they've done something terrible to you in this lifetime and so you can't go back to that relationship but maybe this is the moment in which that cathartic forgiveness happens and you can move on to other lesser soulmates or other lesser relationships I mean sometimes we have our primary relationship for just a short time in our lives and that business is done with that person and then you know they are removed from our life so that they can come back to us in another life and what if in that situation they had done something that was unfair to you and it's time for you to let that go so you can go into other directions I'm just saying but don't don't be worried that if you feel like the the love of your life is still ahead of you if you're single then then pursue that don't don't listen to this that's only true for those of you who feel as though you know the love of your life was in the past and something happened and you can't go back to that relationship this is the answer this year you grant them forgiveness and by granting them forgiveness through the word through your kind words or if you give them a blessing through your word I really hope this person gets through grad school I really hope this person lands the job I really hope this person has the child that they want you know whatever whatever kind of blessing gets the health that they need is maybe the ticket out of their circumstance and whether or not you see them again in this lifetime, it's such a small piece because in the large scheme of things, you have created a miracle, right? And that's that's the highest manifestation of Dharma. So you're so you're definitely in the flow of this and you're like, Well, what about me? Well, what about you? Is that you it's gonna come back onto you very powerfully. So just be benevolent, Gemini, and it's gonna really bless you. Here is the next message. This is advice for your partner. So they get the sun. So like I do feel like I didn't even look. Like this is how I'm holding the cards. So yeah, miracle blessing. Something's coming through for them. I would say about mid year, you know, uh, second to third quarter, somewhere in the middle there. There's going to be a turnaround, <clears throat> and they're going to their night is going to turn today. So it's all about this shift of energy that th you can't outthink the universe and how the planets are around you. You can't control those things. Lilith is in Capricorn conjunct. Pluto right through the spring. This is not something to be mocked or kind of thought at, at a haphazard way. That's a dark, dark shadow energy, you know. And so I'll do videos on that to explain this for you guys on a deeper level. But in the meantime, I do feel like your night is turning today and you're transcendent. Here is the next card for your partner, the next piece of advice. And so this is the strength card. So if you're like listening to me and you're like, I'm not ready to let my partner go. Varush, get on out of here with that. I'm not letting them go. I want them in my life. Yeah, I get it. You want you want love in your life. So do we all, right? So let's say you're you're not prepared to let them go. Well, this is what's going to happen. For many of you, there's going to be a turnaround where that person goes from that shadow you know, in in the shadow, trying to figure out the the silver lining on things, and then they find it, and boom, they're on like Donkey Kong. Like they have the sun and 
the the strength card right they're both fire cards it's like it's like a phoenix just rising out of the ashes pushing all the darkness to the side and moving forward and bursting forward being in their present and this is the advice for them they're meant to take that on they're meant to embrace that opportunity here is the next card the outcome card okay so you guys got the emperor i'll show you guys right now so this is the joint energy. So this could be marriage. This could be hus them or you becoming the husband or, you know, in whatever combination. This could be a business, a new big business beginning. Let me show you again. But yeah, the emperor is here. And so, yeah, the formalization of your relationship, the trust in your relationship is established. I feel like it's a massive turnaround. See, I told you this tower at the beginning, not so bad, because we actually got it out of the way so early in, in the year, right? Virgo got it last year as well. There was this kind of like break apart moment, fractured moment, and then things and pieces starting to come their way back. The outcome is this trans transcendent piece of overcoming solidifying power moving forward personal empowerment empowerment together i hope you guys make this connection i really do but for you the advice is the star whenever the star comes up it's serendipity right so when it comes up it's like step after step after step in the right direction step after step so you just need to take those steps let go of trying to calculate of where you're going to because it's the right direction gemini Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, and sharing my videos. If you guys want to get a video, rent a video that really helps me out. So go in the About section and check out the Vimeos. Okay, thank you guys so much. It's been a pleasure reading for you. Take care, Gemini. Bye-bye.